kaze kuri aske paul muraho neza bajene bajene kazi murakomeye youth you are welcome again uh, on ask paul are you well young women and young men ndishimye kongera ko wabona kandi i am pleased to be with you again eh numugisha w'imana kubana namwe it is a blessing from god to be with you ibi bihe bari bihe byiza ndabizi ko eh benshi mu bamu ari mu ijoro mwicaye mutuje uh, these are good times because I know you are, some of you are resting at home. And others are working in the uh, night shifts. But you are patient enough to come and join us on this program of Ask Paul. Because we, we put this together for you. So it is a blessing and we don't take it for granted. Amen. Amen. Are you well wherever you are? Please introduce yourself. Let me ask one of uh, the youth among you to pray as we begin. Benin. Amen. Karibu, karibu mwese, imana iwagirie neza. Welcome to all of you, may God bless you. Umuse muzi wanje itukwa Jose, uyumusi. My interpreter, my interpreter name is Jose. Nkava nize yeko... Uh, yes, and I believe we are going to work well together. Amen. Amen. Dero benedata bajene ndabasuza mwizina ry'umwami wacu Yesu Kristo. So brethren, young people, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ndizera ko mukomeye kane umeze neza. I believe that you are well and that you are healthy. Uyu munsi dufite ibazo byanyu mwa 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 sabye kugira ngo tubashe ku kubivugaho. We have the questions that you ask us to answer. 
imana ibafasha kandi tubasha gusubiza neza uko uko mubyifuza nange ndizera ko biza gucamo i believe god will help us uh, to answer you in a satisfactory way and i also believe that we are going to be able to answer you de kadero tujya mu bibazo mwabajije tutangire nsabe eh abari ku abafite ibibazo badusomere hanyuma tuze gusubiza so i'm going to ask those who have questions to uh, read them and we are going to answer them okay ikibazo cyambere kiragira ngo yesu nashimwe kubgawe mushumba mukuru muri zakaria gatatu umurongo wa 10 haravuga ngo kuki imana ikibazo cyiki muri zakaria gatatu umurongo wa 10 kuki imana yamubwiye ibyo yamubwiye ibya Yesu wa mwene nuni ese koko hariya muri muri kiriya gice imana yahanye satani ni kihe gihano imana ihanisha satani praise jesus uh, for you uh, apostle in uh, Zechariah 3:10 that's what my question is why did god uh, tell him about uh, the things of Joshua the son of nun did really god punish satan what kind of punishment does god punish satan eh urakoze ntabwo ari Zechariah gatatu 10 ubundi ni Zechariah gatatu kabiri kuri uwo murongo wa kabiri niho niho biri vuga byenda witiranyije cyangwa shatse kuvuga ngo Zechariah yose gata turimwe kugeza ku 10 eh ico gice biravuga satani na na Yoshua uh, I believe it's not I know it's not Zakaria uh, 3:10 it is actually Zakaria 3:2 maybe you uh, confused it trying to say that it's from verse 1 to 10 Reka turebe Zakaria gatatu kabiri Let's read Zakaria 3:2 Dete dwere ku murongo wa mbere n'uwa kabiri Ah let's actually start from verse 1 and 2 Anyereka Yesu umutamze mukuru ahagaza imbere ya marayika uwiteka na satana ahagaza iburyo bwengwa murege uwiteka abwira satana ati uwiteka guhane yewe satana e, ni koko uh, uwiteka watora ni Jerusalem guhane mbese eh, uwosu mushumi ukwe mu muriro Azakaria 3 verse 1 to 2 to two. Mm -hmm. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest standing before the angel of Jehovah, and Satan standing at his right hand to be his adversary. And, Je Je and Jehovah said unto Satan, Jehovah rebuke thee, O Satan. Yea, Jehovah that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is this not a brand plucked out of the fire? Oh, no, no. We'll get a quick cover. Okay. Anyway. Uh, Uitiranyije ba Yoshua. So you are you are confusing the Joshuas. Uyu Yoshua si Yoshua mwene none. This Joshua is not Joshua the son of Nun. Okay. E uyu ni Yoshua wundi, umutambyi mukuru, high priest. This is the other Joshua, the high priest. Yoshua mwene none. A Joshua the son of Nun. Ni giha bisereire bari bavuye mu Egypto bagikanane. Is when Israel was leaving Egypt going to Canaan. Uwe ya pfu ya shize imi ya ka ire inga magana ne. Magana, magana hafi ane. Bavu ya mugiputa, bavu ya mugiputa. Ok, he had died 400 years earlier when they left Egypt. Nukufa ngo, Yoshua hafa mugiputa, bagize imi ya ka minangune mugutayu. So when Joshua left Egypt, they were spent 40 years in the wilderness. Bavayo bagera and they left the way the, the Egypt they got to Canaan and when Moses died Joshua took over and after Joshua the country did not have any leaders and that's where we found the period of the time of the judges it took another 400 years for Saul to be uh, to be available to be seen. In the book of Ruth and the book of Judges, it's in between that. In book of Ruth and the book of Judges, it's in between that. And Samuel came afterwards. And when he died, came the king Saul. Then came the king David. Then came King Rehoboam until the reign of Zedekiah in Babylon. 
The, that's when they went to Babylon. And after 70 years, so you can consider that period as 600 years. This is after the death of Joshua, son of Noah. So they were in Babylon and they came back to their country land of Judah. And the, high, and the high priest who was there at that time was Joshua, not Joshua the son of Nun. Joshua came among the captives who were coming back home. So he worked in the time of uh, Zechariah and Haggai. And the governor of uh, Judah, Zerubbabel. So this is a different Joshua. Satan is accusing him before God that he is not holy. Hanyuma Yesu. Yesu. And then Jesus. Abgira Satan nguiteka aku 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 hane. Niribiu kenda tabgari bihar. Tabga ari pidisio. Uiteka wariwe umenyana nao. And Jesus told Satan, may the Lord rebuke you. It was not a punishment, it was a rebuke. May God deal with you. They call him the angel of the Lord who was standing by uh, God. But it is the word Logos. Yeah. Re the rebuke was to just cast him away, uh, just to tell him that Joshua has been forgiven as my servant. And every time a person stands before God is when his sins are revealed. Because God is holy and we are not holy. Bari bapu yomu bunyaga no bafite kunungu ni kawa ba yaru tuwazo tukuinchi satana fatira wajakumure gimbere ima. Yes saravu yango man hana satana changwe se irukane satana vahano yewu kwa mezarega umukozi wima. They were coming from captivity and they were trying to struggle and among those struggles Satan took the opportunity to accuse them. That's when Jesus said I rebuke you so that you do not accuse the servant of God. Ndagiri yango ni chona agusubi zaho. I believe that is the answer you were looking for. Okay. Iti akabidi, dadi shalom shalom. Tulawashima kum vira imana no muhate mujira mugukore imana. Dadi, mubzukuri, nimnechite jerezo chimibere. Nimnechite jerezo chimibere ho, nimnit kwa lide anje muri uuzima. Kufachera, kufachera muminsi anje yugu shiji, changwa njiru mupagani, narawa kuri chira garero, humonu, uvijira, uvijira hob jinshi, Maranye ikibazo gihe kirekire cyane kandi nizera ko benshi byabafasha mu byukuri iyo umuntu abakurikirana abona ko mufite ubumenyangiro bwinshi cyangwa ibyo twakwita skills nyinshi uretse no mu buzima bwa Gikristo ufite ufite n'ubumenyi bwinshi butandukanye mu buryo ugereranije n'amasaha 28 y'umunsi wakeka ko mwege mufite extra hours kuko Mwa mugomba gukora ubushaka shati gusoma gutegura ibyo mwigisha live newsletter guhimba indirimbo no kuzisohora gukurikirana amatoro amatorero kwisi hose nibindi byinshi hanyuma ikibazo cyanjye niki mutubwire uburyo mukora management y'igihe cyanyu kugira ngo mube successful mu bikorwa mukora no no mukuba skillful nkuko tubabona nkuko tubabona kugiti cyanjye so uh, I have followed you since I was an unbeliever and I really loved you uh, but I had a long time uh, question that I wanted to ask that may help other people. When I follow you I see that you are skilled in Christianity and world affairs. You have much wisdom. You may think that you have more than 24 hours. Uh, my question is this. How do you manage your time and how do you I managed to be so wise and skillful with all the responsibilities that you have. Eh, urabaza umwanya wanje, umwanya wanje mu byukuri uragoye. You ask about the way I manage my time, but it's difficult. Eh, ndacha ndacha afite cyo kibazo cyo cyo gutegeka umwanya wanje, nta discipline ngira, 
yagije nsanga natwawe ndagerageza uko nshobora konsanga natwawe nibi I also am um, still uh, trying to manage my time, but uh, I'm looking for that discipline even more because sometimes I'm, I'm taken away by things. As I work until 3 a.m. in the morning. Anyway, Let me just say that I sleep after midnight. And then I rest in the morning. And then I wake up and do my first assignment. And then I wake up and do my first assignment. And then I wake up and do my first assignment. And then I wake up and do my first assignment. And then I wake up and do my first assignment. Kuko ndabi kunda chani ni sina mnyanya kwa nataka juu na ni yuko pasi yangu kurelima. You may ask, uh, how does someone manage uh, when you love something the way I love serving God? You don't even realize about the time. Si mnyanya numga mnyanya nukopza agenzi. I don't even know how time passes. I look at my watch and lo and behold it's in the morning. Arigenza ni charanga kora kuvasa mo ya zijoro. Narewa kukucha kuisa nga wana ni samo ya zamu gitondo. Kani na menye bibiba ho bibi kumze kumba hori mwana. Sometimes I sit down and I work from 7 p.m. And I find myself finishing to work at 7 a.m. Uru mfanyi nanti bibi abzoro heye wa genzi waje madame na hawa analiko. Waranyi hanga ni ruko meze na hakundi. Ago abzoro shi. You can understand it's not easy for my friends, my wife, and my children, but they are patient with me. Eh, mukazugato. I live in a small house. Nokubongo singira biro yego korerwa. Iyo nagi ngo iyo ndi mukora ngamurugo. For instance, when I'm working from home, hari gihe madam azuka kaza kwisubza genze ngo agasanga ndacicaye ubwo ni sake na saa 10 aho nyine kuko nta biro mfite harubwo natsa matara akaba akabakoroga gatoya ariko bakabyihanganira sometimes i may be working uh, in one of the common spaces because i don't have a specific office and my wife wakes up because of the lights but they are very patient with me eh biro tuba mukorera mu hano the office that i work from ninyo bakondende cyane it is in a building. We are on the sixth floor. Sometimes I find myself uh, being the only one left in the building, and I ha the, my car is the only car left in the parking lot around 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. And in the office I work in, uh, they have automatic lights that turn off by themselves when there is no movement. Sometimes I, I, will, I may be focused so much that I don't even move on my laptop and my, my, the lights turn off and I have to move so that the sensors can recognize movement. Even the lights have been amazed. In a few words, I mean. But I don't ask people to imitate me. I will ask someone to work uh, according to his passion. So when you work uh, when you work your passion, you work without looking at the time. It is something that is uh, recommended beyond all the all, all other things. In the passion. It is just your passion. Don't your passion. I have that passion. Okay, I believe I have answered. Shalom Apostle. Fitiwazo Bibi. Ichambere, Komori Bibi Yaba Vuga Kui is Ubusa Bishata Kufuga Kui, Kui, Mibza Kuria, Changwa Kui, Kui, Manichi, Nicho, Se, Ukunda, Ukava Uri. 
Shalom Apostle. My question is, when they talk about fasting in the Bible, are they just referring to food or are they referring to other things that uh, you may uh, stop doing and then consider it as fasting? My other question is, if you are a farmer and you cultivate uh, somewhere in the rural areas and you want to give your tithe, how can you do it since we know that we don't take food as uh, offerings anymore? My heart tells me that I have to give a tie. I need help. Eh, kuiriza akenshi kintu kigora ba nukuru chibi ndi nukuba hutari. Ah, when it comes to fasting, the most difficult thing for many people is to live without eating. Kuko kuriya ni kintu umuntu wese ari ukome ari uworoheje ari inda ari mugara ari mutoya kuriya twese tubihuriyeho no kuryama ibyo bintu ko ari bibiri. Because eating and sleeping are necessities of life. Everybody sleeps and eat. Eh, dero mukuiriza hariho ichango mga chane nukuigo mga ibidikyo. So when it comes to fasting, what is most important is to fast food. Eh, deka hariko haribindi umundu ya kora mukuiriza. But there are other things you can do to fast Jiki nukunda chane, uka kireka. Nibu kuna nga Whatsapp, changwe Facebook, uka wati nge kuiriza Facebook, ibzo mga rivita, uka iva. Icho gihe, iyo addiction ita na iha garara. Donk, icho ni iki nubu tanzi gikome chane, nabzo zaba. But if there is something that you love very much, for instance, if you love Facebook or Whatsapp, you can say, I'm going to stop using it for three weeks. And when you do that, it is something great and it will even remove that addiction. Let's look at Daniel and the way he fasted. When you read Daniel 10 uh, verse 3, he says that he did not eat bread eat, yeah. even though bread is good. He did not eat any choice meat. That is Daniel 10.3. And he did not drink any wine. He did not eat anything. Nor did he anoint himself. And that is for three weeks. That means 21 days. Atangwa vino atari nyama. Donke, icho ya kwa ragabze ni choge Danieli ya mwa gama azi no kujimbo gabusa. So, you see that Daniel spent 21 days without eating meat, without eating choice meat. So, in this time, he probably drank water and ate vegetables. Nibzo. That's it. Yego, wako iliza ni kindi kindi. You can say, for instance, that you have a, a, a comfortable bed, but you are not going to sleep on it. You will just sleep on the floor for a certain time. Okay. And you can say, I love to eat chocolate, but for these 40 days, I'm going to put to stop eating them. So it's anything that you really like. Now we keep the chachumi. When it comes to the tithe question, Nibirioni chachumi. Even food can be considered as a kureba niba we jeje uftenki mi fuka to vuge ichumi yibigori. For instance, if you have ten bags of maize, ufatumufukume ukauza na kurusengir. You can take one bag and bring it to church. Tutura mugisek. Of course, you do not put it in the basket. But you bring it to the church administration and present it as your tithe. That is done and it is also accepted. Or for instance, your uh, field. 
you can uh, measure me, um, meters. Kavango, umurima wange ni meter ijana. And you can say my field is a hundred meters long. Ibiza okay. irahanga hamu imeter ichumi zose biza haba ibzitorir. Whatever grows in these first ten meters is going to belong to the church. Ibiza nabzo wa bikola. You can also do that. Mm. Chindi, shalom mfite ichiba zonja ni baza aliku mhavuli jesu vizo. Nukuwe di chiri mge na di mge iyo ima nishaka kugiru monu ituma undi monu ngo abe ali uja kumuguta anga ugogutunga. Kandi na atuwe abandu di mge na di mge hitukizera ugasanga uwa uwa Titukizera na titukizera Titukizera na ugasanga ugasanga uwa tu mge iyo asohoju utunga bge nyiru utunga na mgezera agatejelezako arumu agatejelezako arumu teka motuke Kuchima na itabgira nyiru utunga direkte. Kandi nawe asenga. Ichindi ndabasawako umbeira data umu muka ni wabisho waka murakozi. Ok, the question is, uh, why does God send uh, messages to people through other people? Uh, sometimes as people we don't trust each other and we, we think that people are plotting against us or they are trying to manipulate us. So I want to ask why God does not go directly to the person in in uh, uh, to to tell him the message. I also want you to be my spiritual father. Ubundi ntabwo iman yifuza kugutuma humu yifuza kuvuga na nawe bwawe. Normally God does not want to send a messenger to you. He wants to speak to you directly. Muri kamere y'Imana ivugana na buri muntu wese ngo intama zose zizijwirye ngo nawe arazize. In the nature of God, he loves to speak to his own people. Because the, his flock hears his voice and he also knows it. God speaks to us through his voice. When, he don't, when we don't hear, he speaks to us through uh, dreams. And if that doesn't work, he speaks to us through uh, the word of God. If we can't hear, he talks to us through our, our life circumstances. And when it's not impossible to reach us, he goes through our dreams. So when we have not heard him, he sends someone to say, please tell him. Something. To send someone to you, means that God sees that you are not getting the message. But his will is to speak to you directly and that's the way it should be. And there are other people when they cannot hear God, he looks for people who can hear on your behalf. And there are So for someone who is deaf, for instance, uh, you may not know how to speak his language and use someone else who knows. The same way God also uses other people to speak to others. Uh, it doesn't just require you to pray to hear God. No, to hear the voice of God requires you to know him and to spend time with him. And once you pray, and then you take some time to just listen to what he's about to say. When you do that, God will speak to you. But you must practice it. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are others who lie that God sent them when it's not true. And that's not new. Satan also uses that. And those people also exist. For them not to deceive us, we must hear God directly. And sometimes we cannot hear God because of sin. Because the Bible says that his ears have not gone deaf and his arm is not short, is not short to rescue, but the, your sins have caused him not to reach you. 
the sins of people cause God not to heal. Uh, cause people not to hear God well. Let me just say that you do not have any sin and you are a believer. That's good. You may ask yourself, why does God not speak to me? When you, mm -hmm. After you pray, do you give God time to speak to you? After you pray, you need to take a quiet time reading the Bible or listening to music and you are going to hear God speak in your thoughts. Because He speaks. Especially when He, want, when he wants to speak to you. Amen. 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 You ask, for, you ask me to be your spiritual father. I am already your father because I'm also I'm already answering you these questions. Don't ask for what you have. Sibzo. Yes. Okay. Shalom. Ndabashimira kumanya mwiza. Ichifuzo Shalom, ndabashimira ku mwanya mwiza mwaduhaye wo kubaza wo kubaza Imana ibahe umugisha mwinshi utagabanyije. Ikibazo cyanjye kiri muri Hoseya rimwe umurongo wa gatatu. Hoseya yacyuye Maraya Gomeri. Eh uwiteka aramubwira asubire agende akunde umugore wa Maraya. No kuvuga ngo Hoseya yashatse abagore babiri baba Maraya cyangwa uwiteka yamubwiraga gusubira kuri Gomeri. Sina humvise neza. Ikindi nk'umuhanuzi, nk'umuntu w'umuhanuzi gushakana na Maraya byafatwa gagute. Ubwo nti tibahitaga bamuhinyura ngo nta mwuka w'Imana uki muri mu. Ikibazo cy'akabiri, nanone ni muri Hoseya igice cy'akarindwi umurongo wa 8. Efraimu yivanze na yandi mahanga. Kuki yivanze na na Efraimu kandi yari yari hamwe muri Niri ya miryango cumi ya Israheli kuko nkurikije ibyo nsoma mbona iri ya miryango imaze gutandukana n’Abayuda baragiye bagakora ibyaha byinshi ndabasaba musobanure gato icyo icyoze yashakaga kuvuga aho murakoze umubyeyi wacu turagukunda okay. okay the first question uh, I want to first thank you for your time my first question is in Hosea uh, 1 6 when he talks about uh, uh, Hosea going to uh, marry a prostitute and God told him to go back to uh, another prostitute again. Was it the same one, Gomer, or was it a different one? And when he did that, was he rejected as a prophet because of uh, marrying a prostitute? My second question is in Hosea 7, 8. It says that Ephraim uh, mixed himself with other nations. I want to know why he did that to separate himself from other uh, tribes. Okay. Uyumugore Gomer. This woman Gomer. Yarumukogo Mugawita ga Dibulaim. Was Dibulaim. Dibulaim. Was the wife of a man called Dibulaim. Eh, umuhungu. Yarumukogo wa Dibulaim. Oh, she, she was the daughter uh, of Dibulaim. Ah, Dibulaim Yarazgui. Yarafi Yarazgui Muri Israel. Kanu Mukogo Zaribis Gukwari in Daya. And Dibulaim was known in Israel, and his daughter was known to be a prostitute. And God told Hosea to go and uh, marry the prostitute. You know how prostitutes uh, go on the streets to work for clients. Hosea refused. God told him to go do it. I am the one asking you. He went and married her. And they had a son. And God told them to name him Lo Ruhama. And then he get, he, they got another son. And he was called Loami. All those names have meanings. One say that you are no longer my people, you are no longer my nation. Yeah, ubwo no kuvuga ngo Imana 
Okay, come on, Swim. Buke wa mugore aragen da tause. And then uh, it came to pass that the woman left Hosea. Urumba fitenavan. Yet she has children. <laughs> Ajakani butega bagab. And she went to uh, prostitute herself again. And then God told herself to go and bring her back. And then in verse 3, it says, And that is in chapter 3, when you see God telling him to go back and bring, him, bring her back. And she or him. Uh, nani, pardon. Osea, Mm. Hosea uh, had received the law from God to love her, Gomer. Umuzanumukund. Bring her and love her. Umukund. And love her. De, de Let's read in Hosea uh, 3 1 to 2. Uiteka Aram Girati, Subirugende, Ukunde Umugore Wamaraya, Ukund Guanishuti, Kuku Uiteka Kunda Bisrael. Nubwo bikurikiriza izindi mana bakazitu bakazitura imibumbe y'imizabibo urumva Then the Lord said to me go again love a woman who is loved by a lover and is committing adultery just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel who look to other gods who love the raisin cakes of the pagans Hosea kunda ga Gomer Hosea loved Gomer Gomer na ga kundundi and Gomer loved another one and God told him, go and bring her back. Even though she has other people that she loves. That's how God wanted to show Israel the way their fellowship with God is. God loves Israel. But Israel loves idols. And God will bring and bless them. Bakeza. He will sanctify ba them. Oh, they, they, will, they will have harvest. Bakagubganeza. They will live well. Bagakomera. They will be great. Niko kubzar. Niko that, niko kubzar. that was the significance or the, the, the illustration of giving. Barangiza bakafatabza abidyo. Ya ya mivinyo. Imana ya raiva haye. Bakajano no guvitele kerezindi imana. And they will take the food and the wine that they are harvest and take it to other idols. Hanyuma abisraeli yon tiba tiba gaye yo se ya hubo yara wabu yengo ukuyu mugora ni manke angore ni kona mukore ni man yari illustration imana ishaka kuigisha abisraeli. So Israel did not despise Hosea because Hosea would tell Israel the way this woman is treating me is the way you are treating God. It was just an illustration. That's what God was trying to teach them. But he was just one woman that, that Hosea would bring home and once she gave birth, she would leave the household and go and look for other men. Do not think that this story This came to pass. God was showing them how uh, Israel is with God. Now, uh, Hosea 7 8. But Hosea 7 8. Ephraim. Where they talk about Ephraim. Ephraim is actually one of the ten tribes. The Israel But it was, it was a way I forgot to name those tribes and name it as is as Ephraim. It's like those are the two two tribes that Judah and Benjamin. There was Judah and Benjamin. They did not talk about Judah and Benjamin. They just called them the Jews or Judah. Yeah. When you read the word Ephraim, or uh, when the mention Ephraim has uh, mixed himself, it is just another name to name those ten tribes of Israel. Mm. Uretsu bumenyi no gusobanukirwa 
duhabwa ndetse no gusengerwa ariko kandi twumva twegeranye twegeranye n'umubyeyi wacu bikatunezeza bikanaduha imbaraga cyane ikibazo mbaza fada niki ese ko muri iki muri ko ko uri umuntu uhora useka uhora unezerewe byaba bifitanye isano nuko takarande mufite mwavuke mu muryango ukijijwe cyangwa n'impano byaba byaba se bifitanye isano nuko abana baba hererezi baba bakundwa cyane bagateteshwa ku buryo nta kibazo bahura nabyo ese mu buzima hari ibigeragezo mwaba mwarigeze muhura nabyo ubuzima ubuzima bugoye cyangwa mwagiye mwagenze mu muhanda uharuye aha aha simvuga intambara zo mwitorero ndavuga iz'ubuzima bwite niki umuntu yakora ngo age ahora nezerewe aseka nkamwe murakoze turabakunda cyane <laughs> okay, so the question is this. Well, first, I want to thank you very, uh, very much for the knowledge you give us, for the prayers. When you do that, we feel close to our Father and we are strengthened. So my question is this. I always see you laughing. Is it because you have no generational curse, having been born in a Christian family? Or is it because maybe you are the last born and we know that last born uh, people are spoiled? Uh, also, have you ever met any real life challenges? I'm not talking about the church uh, issues or the church fights, but real life challenges. What do you counsel me to be like you and to always have joy and always be laughing? <laughs> this is a difficult question. <laughs> I don't know how to answer you this question. Actually, let me ask you, do you not laugh? Hmm. Uh, I... Oh, I don't know how I can answer you this question. I never knew when it started. I always hear people tell me that I'm always laughing. I don't know how to answer you. One thing I can tell you is that I've never had wounds in my life. I started having uh, challenges and problems when I start when I engaged the churches. Uh, I never had my personal wounds, but I found those problems in the church. In such a way that if I had not known God in in my life, truly, genuinely, I would have stopped serving God. But I had a good communion with God. And I grew up in a family that knew God that is not crooked. So I know the God of my father. I know the God of my family. And, I, mm -hmm. and he also revealed himself to me. I started to fast when I was nine years old. And I grew up in a, a holy way and I knew God. Because I felt the hunger to fast when I was nine. And I'll fast. And I did not even know what I was praying. But I just felt like I wanted to fast so that I can draw near God. Dero, eh, don't <laughs> 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 
So I started seeing problems in the church because when I, when the way I grew up, I was innocent. So I would tell everything. I was open to people, but I did not know that those people were gathering information so that they could attack me. So a normal uh, example I can give you. You will sit in a meeting. You will say, okay, we are men here. We have agreed. Let, let this stay among us. And don't even tell your wife. And I believed that it was the case. And if someone else suggests such a, an agreement, I would receive it and we, are, and we would shake on it. When you go back home, your wife will tell you what happened. Uh, everything went well, but I'm not going to talk about it because it is uh, it's professional. It is concerning my job. And my wife will receive it. And later on, when the other wives would meet our wives, they would tell them what happened in the meeting. And my wife would ask me, why did you hide this from me? Because so and so told his wife. And you'll find out that the so and so is the one who proposed that idea. No, no. And I could not understand it. And in the same innocence, I would go to the person uh, and ask them what happened. And the person would uh, swear, saying he never told his wife. And then you would believe the person, but yet you also believe your wife. That's how you, the church people, can make you crazy. Uh, so I started experiencing that, but those things cannot take away your joy. And later on, your wife will sit down and say, I will never tell you anything. And then the, your wife will tell you, I will never tell you anything because when you told the man, he went and told his wife, and his wife is now accusing me that I, I cannot keep a secret. And those, uh, those circles make you crazy. Uh, they actually are found in the servants of God, or the so-called servants of God. Uh, Papa when my dad passed away, when I faced the challenges I faced in the church, I went to visit with my spiritual father, uh, Noemo. Uh, he actually found me at my office, uh, coming to comfort me because of what had happened. No, 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 no,
Uh, he is also my spiritual father. He's the one who taught me the word of God. He's the one who raised me in the things of God, everything. And he's the one who also gave me uh, letters of recommendation in colleges uh, saying that I'm a Christian. I asked him this question. I said, this is what is hurting me. You raised us in the word of God. Why did you not tell us that there are sinners among the servants of God? Why did you not, mm. Why did you not tell us that there are servants of God who are not authentic? Who lie? They foment. And what they say, they don't actually do. And why did you not tell us that there are fights in the church? And he laughed. And he told me, no one can tell his friend, you will find yourself among those things. As you go and you advance, you understand more. And there are things that we cannot tell you so that you do not get discouraged in your journey. And that was the truth. And I say, if you had told me earlier, I would, have, I would not, not have done this. Thing. I would have fought against God and this calling. So the reason why I was saying this, even together with the war I faced, what I had refused in my life, in my life, I would have fought against God. So, uh, when the thing that I had refused in my life yeah. was to listen to someone and believe that another person is evil. I had a protection on my heart that prevented me to believe anything evil being spoken about, about my friends. So I got to a point where I asked myself why that protection was actually working or not. So I removed that protection and that's when I got wounded. But then after that, I decided that I, I was not going to let my joy be taken away. I'm going to keep my joy, and if I lose people, I'm going to lose them. But I'm going to have a good life. Icho na kugwira gusa, guseka, no kuishima, no guhitamu, nishuwa wa hitamu. Kandi yu hitemu, inafata. What I can tell you is that joy and laughter is a choice. If you make that choice, it's going to work. Okay, rekadu komeze. Ichindi. Mumbabare sini fugi zina gusanda shima cha neko Naba menye kuru yumurongo Nda shima nanone ijambo muduha yesu abahumu jisha Fada, fiti wazo vitatu Mwafasha kungura uu menyini na ama Kubidia nye nugurere bugaba na wafite Ababjei hivu mbi wachishishwe Aliko ugasanga abu wabjei Wafite nshinga no nyishi Alimu nzu yima na deteno hanze ya ayu Aliko ukun ukumva nta ntako batagize ari kugasanga abana bacu mu myaka yabo y'ubugimbi ndetse ni y'ubukure biragoye cyane kugeza aho kugeza aho nta mbuto z'umwuka bafite twakora iki kugiye ku twakora iki mu kubaherekeza kugeza abakurushako ikibazo cy'akabiri umuntu ari addicted ku cyaha runaka nk'ubusambanye cyangwa itabi bikaba byara munaniye kukireka nta nta kukireka mwamuha iyihe nama nk'umubyeyi none ari umukobwa arashaka gutwita arashaka arashaka kudatwita kandi arakijijwe ariko akukagesoka karanze 
mumpe inama mumpe inama icya gatatu kwidekarara mu bihugu by'amahanga nk'umuntu wishakira ubuzima atagamije ikibi mwabivuga hiki yesa komeze abahe umugisha turabakunda fata okay i have three questions uh, my first question is i want to have a uh, counsel about raising children when you have both parents who are saved but they are too busy uh, whether in the church or even in life in general. But you find those kids are not having the spiritual gifts or being properly saved. How can we raise them properly until marriage? My second question is, uh, how can someone address uh, his or her addictions, for instance, tobacco or adultery, uh, for instance, someone who is pregnant and cannot give up an addiction? How can you do that? My last question is, uh, concerning people who seek asylum when there is no danger about their life and they lie what advice can you give them e ibyo vuze ku bibazo byo kurera abana nkatwe dukora umurimo w'Imana concerning raising children as servants of God ni kintu kigoye cyane ngo kubivuze it is something that is very difficult as you mentioned ntabwo ari kuri wewe gusa it is not just you cyangwa nabandi or other people abana babakoze b'Imana satan arabatera ku rutabano babandi Satan attacks the children of the servants of God more than other children. Kandi wagira ngo ni ngo ni ngo ni na abubu gusa. You would think that it's just the children of uh, this generation. Abakora imana nk'umutambyi Eli. Uh, the people who served God like the ser the priest Eli. Reka mbere kuri kuri sekuru Aaron. Let me start with uh, his forefather Aaron. Aaron yari umutambyi w'Ima. Aaron was the priest of God. Atoza abana bati muze mumfasha mu rusengero. And he raised his children to help him in the temple. This is what he had given them. Do not let the fire go out on the altar. Because when the uh, fire would go out, nothing was... Be they would wait for God to bring a new fire from heaven. This is what they were supposed to do. They had to continuously add wood to the fire so that it does not uh, go off. And the children of Aaron, when they got to the tabernacle, they would sleep. And they found out that the fire had went out. And it was very sudden. He was very sad. And this is what they did. The young man said, let us find a way. Since our father did not see it. And no one is seeing it. Let's go fetch, uh, get some fire from our neighbors. And then bring it uh, so that we can continue the service. I am telling you, those sons went and did it. Those are the children of the servant of God. They were not able to come and tell their father, Papa, say, Dad, we have sinned. But they made uh, plans to hide it from him. Let's read in Leviticus chapter 10 what happened. Abalewi numbari gice cha 10 ku murongo dwereye ku wa mbere. I believe it is Leviticus chapter 10 verse mm. 1. Yeah. Nuko nadabu na abihu bene Aaron benda ibyo tero byabo bashiramo umuriro. Bashiramo imibavu bayosheshereza bayosheshereza imbere y'uwiteka. Umuriru da kuiriye. Uwo ataba tegeze. Imbere yuwiteka hafamo umuriru uraba tkuika. Bafiri imbere yuwiteka. Mosa bugira aronati. Ibzo nibzo uwiteka ya vuzati. Kwera kwanje kuzere kani kwa mwanyi egeri. Kani nza aheri kwa ichu bahiri imbere yuwoko. Gose. Aroni ariche chikera. Mosa hamagara mishaeri. Elizafani. Mene uzieri sewa wuna aroni. Araba bwirati Nimwigire hafi muterure bene wanyu mubakuri imbere ya hera mubajani nyuma y'ingando z'amahema 
bigira hafi baba terura mu makanzu ya baba kura mu ngano kuko mose yategetse mose abwira haro na ele, na eleazari na itamare bene aronati timutende zimisatsi timushishi muri myenda mudapfa uwiteka akarakaritena no ryose ahubwo bene wanyu inzu ya israel yose baborogeshwe no gutwika uwiteka yatwitse Kani ndi muve ku muryango wihema ryibonanira mu dafu kuko muri wa mavuta yuwiteka yabasinze yabasize bagenza uko mose yategetse abone ku munongo wa kare bafujije abantu imana ibimikiriyo ngo nti murire ni murira namwe murashye then Nadab ben Abihu the sons of Aaron each took his censer and put fire in it put incense on it and offered profane fire before the lord which he had not commanded them. Mm -hmm. So fire went out from the Lord and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. And mm -hmm. Moses said to Aaron, This is what the Lord spoke, saying, By those who came near me, I must be regarded as holy, and before all the people, I must be glorified. Mm -hmm. So Aaron held his peace. Then Moses called Mishael and Elzaphan, the sons of Oziel, the uncle of Aaron, and said to them, Come near, carry your brethren, from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they went near and carried them by their tunics out of the camp, as, Mo as Moses had said. And Moses said to Aaron and to Eleazar and Itamar, his sons, Do not uncover your heads, nor tear your clothes, lest you die and wrath come upon all the people. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, beware the burning which the Lord has kindled. You shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle as the meetings, lest you die. For the anointing oil of the Lord is upon you, and they did according to the word of Moses. So God prevented them from mourning, even though they lost their own brothers. This was the children of the high priest. The high priest. Nadab and Abihu. They died and did not have anybody mourning. They went to bring uh, fire from another place to the ends to the altar of ends, uh, incense. And their uh, uh, their grandchildren or their grandchild Eli. He also had sons. Uh, there were two of them. He had Phineas and Phineas. Phineas and Phineas. Uh, Phineas and Hophne was the was his son. And he will send them to the tabernacle. Go and receive people. And prepare the sacrifices. And they were so greedy. They went out. <laughs> when the meat would be offered before God, uh, they would not wait, but they had their special folk, and they would grab the best meat, and those were the children of the pastor. <laughs> and they did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. <laughs> and they also died. <laughs> the children of Samuel. <laughs> Samuel was a righteous person. <laughs> He went from Beersheba to God teaching. And when he started to get old, he started to institute his sons uh, so that he could help, they could help him. And those sons started to take bribes. And they did not uh, give righteous judgment. And that's when, that's how the men of Israel got tired and asked Samuel to give them a king. And that's how the time of the judges ended in Israel. So you are asking, what should we do? Should we pray for these children? Should we, how, how should we raise them? It is difficult. The one thing that parents must do 
we do our responsibility. We pray, we, them, we teach them, we show them the way of God. And then we train them. Uh, look at the great man like Bill Graham. Uh, his son Franklin Graham. He had been impossible to raise. He would be a sinner. He would uh, uh, pain his father. Billy Graham brought the gospel to the whole world, but his son uh, was difficult. But the end of the story, the seed of God, the son came to be saved. And he's the one heading the ministry, the ministry of his father after he passed away. When I talk about my own brothers, my father was someone who prayed a lot. And he prayed with us. But all my older uh, siblings have been impossible. After they had enjoyed the world and the world disappointed them, they came to be saved and they started to serve God. Except one who is still on the on the road. Uh, he is uh, in between, but we believe that he is also going to be saved. He loves God, but he is still, still weak in the flesh. Uh, we believe that he's going to come to the house of God, but the other ones came and joined the house of God and became servants of God. What we are telling you uh, is a big problem, a big challenge to the servants of God. Amen. 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 Akenera deliverance. Uh, you ask about uh, someone being in an addiction or a sin, that person needs deliverance. We are never usam banyimo akene munusengera akamukorea deliverance kubohoka ikichahaya kiva. If it's an addiction to uh, fornication, uh, this person needs deliverance and uh, they are going to be set free. Amen. Amen. Uh, he cannot be set free uh, of this addiction unless uh, he's prayed for. Uh, asking for asylum in a, in a foreign country First of all, once you are there, you have no other choice. If you are in the fire, you cannot uh, stop calling for help. Uh, asking for asylum is like asking for help. Uh, when you are already uh, in a place, you need to eat, you need to walk, you need to leave. So it is just looking for help. Mm. I cannot take too long on this question, uh, but God can make anything evil and turn it into good. Uh, uh, redemption 
uh, the most important thing once you have sought asylum and you have received it, it's actually God who granted it. But what you should do, you should not look for a livelihood, you should first look for the one who gives life. By doing so, you are going to be redeeming your presence in that nation. Your lie is going to turn into a living harvest. If you say that you are a Burundian while you are Rwandese, you are a Rwandese. And then you get saved and you bring an American person to Christ, then God is gonna forgive you because you have you need redemption. You have redeemed that lie. Bigaragazako Muzukuri. Kuba kwawe ahunga aruku arukubzara mugamo mugami bima. Uzana barukuma. That shows that your presence in that nation. It is for birthing uh, people in Christ to bring people into the kingdom of God. And but when you just seek asylum and you just look for a livelihood and you don't have any fellowship with God, there is a curse in it. So that curse, if you want to remove it, you must serve God. That's how you can revert that curse. Okay. Yes, I shimmy mushumba, uhoraho ahimidish umudisha, kuri gahunda to to hijirabzish. Nagombambaze Iman Vukeshi, Hakunda Kubonika, Ibitera ne a Masenje Shayaba Mama, Abakovga, Kurusha, Abagabona Vasori. Murichi Murichi Jihe, Keshi na Mambona. Umasengesho, our mama, Ugasanga Abagabo, Wonine, Bahadi, Navakoziman, Navakozimanabus, no ne Abakristo, a Sansevo, Vite, Basanzevo, Vite. Bikunda Punsita, the Chani Humva, Umutqua, Logu, Quivaza, Icho Imana, Yakora, Pujango, Abagabo, Basange, Basang, Vais, Abagabo, Basenge, Kuruta, Uko, Babikorugo, Kuberich, Kuberamba, Ni Yumvako, Mugabo, Ariwe, Ariwe Mutque. No, ne, I would a good body movie, go by your body, Abuzuze, Abuz, Abuzuze, Ijambo, Bon Hard of a fitty. Doom Vaco, Nabgo, Mushawara, Controller, Avita Vida, Ibitera, Nichange, Amasengesho, Mamma Shizeho, Ariko Kuruhande Guanyu, Abakozimana, Kuchi, Mushiraho, Ibitera, Ne, Amasengesho, Mama, Akaba Ario, Aba Meshi, Ayaba Gabo, Akaba Machi, Kurijewe, Nadi. No, Vabjava, Jiza, Java, and Versi, if Java Gabo become of Zinshi, could try Java Mama. Naka Maroko, Bukadisha, Ijosi, Umutke Udakarish, Koko, Nivo Utejeka, Ijosi, Dida, 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 no go to Kunda Kuvogango, Ijosi, Nijo, the Hindu Chira, Umutke, the Hindu Kiza, or the Hindu Chizu Mutke, the Hindu Chizu. Behind the Chiza, Aho Jabgiwe. Jewe no Niho Mbona Nichibas of Jo Momago Jo Momago Ivas of Jo Mago, but Kuri Jay when he Hombona. Oh, Kuri Jenny Hombon, Ivas of Jo Mago, Bama Vigisha, Bama Mama, Go Uba He Abagaba, Bo Ariko Viragoye, Umi Ari Umukri Soyuz Yebrem Yera, Undi Ari. Wundi Ari Umukristo Mumubi, O Mumubi Bahu 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 Mosi, Bada Bada Chanyo, Mugabo, Abeda, Ichi Jagazo, Mogori, Morivugahichi, Uhoraho, Avahe, Midisha, Kugita, and Yagan. Okay, uh, my question is about the conferences. Uh, why do we have more women conferences than men conferences? Um, when I look at the conferences, I always see men who are servants of God only. But the <coughs> other men do not show up. So what can be done uh, to have uh, men uh, be involved in the things of God as much as women? What is wrong with men? It is difficult for women to obey their husbands when they are full of the Spirit while their husbands are in the flesh. Since I don't know where you fellowship. 
But we have conferences for men. Na department ya bakap. And we have a men's department. If it's not na committee ya bakap. And he has a men's department. Kwa rasi inga bagira gahunda. They pray and they have programs. Usamuri uh, bibihe. Except that for this time. Bira shabaka kona abzachi online. It's possible that we did not have it online. Ariko tukitu la bigira. But we have those. Kanda teke za kona bandu wa bigira. And I also believe that other churches do. Gusanga rutse kufugi mamfu bzenda wa mama. Abari wa wagira frekanse nyinshi yo gutera na kuruta bagabo nuko aba mama niwo bitabira cyane kuruta bagabo uh, The reason why women have more attendance is because they are the ones who show up No gusenga Even in prayer Abagabo benshi baraza bagaparika abagore ku rusengera kigendera Nta nagira namatsiko yo kumenya aho umugore wagiye basi ngo yicare yumva ibyo umugore warimo yumva amusigaho akabona kanya ko kigendera muri sport mu kabare mu kayoga we uri mu nambwira ndumva uvuga ikirundi na abarundi na heni na amustei urabizi na agenda gasigunga wakuito akigendera kuka amustei abadamu ni wakenshu sanga baga rushe ni wabikwari umurjango ni wabashaki imana chane kurusha waga so um jazuri mungu ya nono murundi na amubite mwana interpret ok so you ask about men is because men uh, sometimes they bring their women, their wives to church, and they just go away. Uh, they don't even have the decency yeah. of going inside and listening uh, to what their, their wives are listening to. You who is writing this question, I hear you are speaking Kirundi. Uh, men, Burundian men have issues with uh, beer and alcohol. Please, uh, when, you, when you have your wife... <laughs> no, no, no. It's just some of them, not all of them. Uh, you should not leave your uh, wives in, in the church and then not be involved. Just you, you drop her mm -hmm. on the parking lot, then you go back to your spot to, 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 to have something to drink. And you, you don't even think about your wife. Mm -hmm. Where is she? Umusiga muri parking, haima oga suira, mukaware chonga suira, aho munuera, Mugani huna tekeza, ahu mugore wawe, ali nijari karumviriza. Yeah. Then you say, okay, tell me when you, when you finish with your gitkwaza, your gitkwaza. And you, you, ulamu wazuti, ularangiza jari na gitkwaza wawe. Wala, ahu ni wabaga usanga, tukwa wabuli. Nwana utufuge, hara waga wakishi shukwe. Bajana na wakore wawe. Uh, let's say there are men who are saved and who go together with their wives. I believe that most churches have a couple's department or men's department. And if the if those departments are not in place, they should be established so that uh, men can have a framework. Mm. Okay. Yes, I shim ya mubze yi nigutu munu ya menya ko i jihe chi jeze ko a hindura ibja yahora alimu. Hakazi ya kundak. Uh praise God. Uh when should someone know uh when to shift, for instance, uh to change from uh the job they had to another job. Sizi niburu mugore, uba ji changu mugav. I don't know if you are a woman or a man who is asking. Ntiwa waza umuda mufite inda. You cannot ask a woman when uh, she fe when is she gonna feel like she's about to give birth. She's going to feel it because of labor pains. Umuhumu. A man. A man yaku bihe biri mo bihindu kama wuzi ma bwe kube rishui ndetseni mi ndi mnye tsoi mu bwe muri. A man will find out uh, when uh, their biological features are turning. For instance, when the voice change and other things. Ni nakobi mer. Iya kazi kwa wakari mo umva guhindu. We urabzumva. Umva muri we uta ari menyezo. Kutanyurwa ha handi. Changu se kumvura ambiwe. Kani nda chwa gutwa ye. I i izo season ziba. Sina kubiri ngo niwi niwi. Kuko buri muno bi teru guano kuko amezi muri we. Ariko muima na duha ye kudetekti bi he. Kumenya kwa huri atarips. Ni unahatins. When you, when you are in a job, uh, sometimes you may feel uh, unsatisfied or you can feel like you are not producing, you are not being productive. 
God gave us a way to detect the seasons. And if you stay too long in a season, you are going to figure, you are going to find out that you are not getting any benefits. Good. Yes, Ashimne, wafuze kuhano ziko, umuna gomba kujira, ugenje, go gutanga mo uhano zi. No, ni chivazo na jize ko, muri bibili ya handi tengo, kuta, kutu da kuiye ko njera ho, ijambo na limge, changwa kugawanya ho, kujima na yafuze. Ese, iyo uha, iyo uhano ye, ukore shesho genje, nuba uko zichaha, chivazo chaka wili, ko hano iwachu murguanda, Tuwona awa pasteri wali mo kuwa hagarika Baba shinja ko ibjo bahano ye atari ibjo Baka baba vuga ko baba baba jenzu yu wahano zibga bo Baka sanga atari ibjo kandi Bo iyo baba wahano ye baba vuga ko alima na yewe bugiye Yewe ko nachinu nachimge bo nje yeho Changwa baga wani jeho Ese ya bali aliza honi yelemia ya huye nazo Ya huye nazo Na bo baba bali guhura nazo <laughs> okay, the, the first question is, uh, you mentioned that when you prophesy, you must prophesy with wisdom. The Bible tells us not to add or remove anything from what God says. So if you prophesy with wisdom, is this not going to be a sin? My second question, in Rwanda, uh, there has been a rest of uh, so-called false prophets. But they say that what they are prophesying is coming from God. Is this like the beatings that Jeremiah had? Ubuhanuzi nta guhure ni jambo ry'Imana. Ni jambo ry'Imana ubwayo ni Bibiliya nijyo yavuga ngo ntugabanye kuri Bibiliya ntiwongere. Ariko si byo umuntu avuga abantu zingaba. Biratandukanyaho nti duhuye. Ubuhanuzi abantu bavuga ngo Imana irambwigize gucya ntabwo ari Bibiliya. Bibiliya itwemerera kubupinga, itwemerera kubwemera, itwemerera kubu kububalansa. Ariko Bibiliya yo siko bibisimeze. Donc nta ibyo Bibiliya ivuga ni kuri Bibiliya ubwayo. So the prophecy we are mentioning here is not the word of God. Mm. The prophecy is, uh, is something that you can challenge, you can agree, you can balance it, because the Bible accepts, allows us to do so. This is not the word of God, it is just prophecy. Uh, you can test prophecy. Uh, when you are testing prophecy, Donc, shobra kwemera cyangwa ukavuga toke reka dutegereze turi be kubiza. You can accept it or you can just say let's wait and see if it's going to come to pass. Reka turi mu Thessalonike ba mbere gatanu 2020 kugeza kuri 2021. Aba Thessalonike ba mbere 5 2021. Okay, let's look in 1 Thessalonians 5 20 to 21. Bavuga iki aho Jose katurebe. Yego. 1 Thessalonians 5, 20, 21. Gatanu, makumyaviri, makumyaviri nomu. 5, 20, 21. It says, do not despise prophecies. Aha. Do not despise prophecies. Timu gahinyure ibihanurgu. Test all things. Hold fast to what is good. Ahugo mugera gezebzo use, mugundi ribziz. Ubu hanuzuru abu gera gezu kabu testa. Umva ari byiza biri mu kwifata ibyo udashaka ukabyigizayo. Donc urumva ko si jambo ry'Imana anga. Imbyo umuntu avuze wabyemera tuko mutabyemera. You test the prophecy and if it's good you keep it if it's bad you reject it. So this is not the word of God. If it is something that is genuine you can receive it or not. Ikindi wano zibugira ingaruka. Iyo uvuze ikintu umuntu adakunda ashobora no kubigufungira cyangwa akagukubita. Also prophecy has consequences. When you prophesy something that someone does not like you can be imprisoned or hurt because of that. So it depends on what they want to listen to. But prophecy is something that can be It doesn't mean that anybody who is jailed because of prophecy has lied. It could be that what he said is something that people did not like. And that becomes the beatings of Jeremiah. And there are others who lie and they are also punished. Yeah. Yes, Ashimne, no injera kakuwa zakuri originalite ya karebe na nabu onye muri bibre ko avakuri yuda. Ijihewa jaga butata aliko wafuga ko yari umunya mahanga. Ngasu anu ina murakozi. 
So I wanted to ask about the origin of Caleb. It is mentioned that he comes from the tribe of Judah, but it is also mentioned that he is a foreigner. Can you please help us there? Caleb is from Kenesi. Yoshua Chuminakane. Let's look in, let's read in Joshua 14. Yoshua Chuminakane. Joshua chapter 14. Kumurongo wa. Um, I'm in Joshua 14. Joshua 14, verse 6. Uh-huh. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, uh-huh. the Kenazite, the Kenazite. Uh-huh. said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnea. Okay, Joshua mwene yefune, pardon, Caleb mwene yefune. Caleb, the son of Jephune. Umu Kenezi, the Kenezite. The Kenezite. Eh. Uh, ni, ni weba fashe mumurjango, Wagende ahagaralire abayuda. He is the one who was taken to represent the tribe of Judah. Ariko muri commentaire na na dictionnaire ya Bibiliya. But in the commentary and dictionary of the Bible. Bavuga ko yari mwene Kenazi. They says that he was the son of 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 uh, he was a Kenazite. Eh nokuvuga ko eh ata Bara banya mahanga ariko bari barinjiye muri mu Bisraeli baba mu muryango kwa kwa Yuda They were originally foreigners gentiles but they had joined the nation of Israel and became part of the tribe of Judah Eh reka Harawa bashakisha um Genealogy Bukomeza Bavuga Ibze. There is a place where they mention uh, his genealogy. The Katurebe Itangiro Chuminagata Nukumonga Chuminichenda. We are going to read in Genesis uh, 15, verse 19. Yeah, go. It says, mm-hmm. The Kenite. The the Kenazites, Kenazite, Aba Kenes, uh-huh. the Kadmonites, Yego, Hera Hera Hejurgatoe, okay. uh, to your descendants I have given this land from the river of Egypt mm-hmm. to the great river, the river of Euphrates. Don Kengonguhaye, eh, Kuvaku, Uruzaro Goruza, Hera Kuri Efrate, Kugeza, from Egypt to eh kuri eji muri Egiputa imani bwira Abraham ngo nzaho ruzaro rwawe kuva muri Egiputa kugeza kuri muri muri Efrate muri Iraq ico gice cyose the whole country from Egypt to Iraq yego the Kenites Kenazite or Kenite the Kenites the Kenazites yego the Kadmonites the Hittites the Perizzites the Rephaim, mm-hmm. the Amorites, yeah, the Canaanites. Ayo na mo kwera tu ye muri Canaani. Those were the tribes that lived in Canaan. Mbere ige chake na cha Abraham. And that was in the old time, the old time of Abraham. Urumvare roko, eh, Kalebu akomo kamura yo mo kwe ya kere ya wa Kenezi. So Kaleb comes from that tribe of the Kenezi. Bishobo ke koba agiye, Bakomeje kuko muri abanga ba Abrahamu yari afitemo aba abantu yari yaraguze bamubera abana because among these people Abraham had people he had purchased and they became like his sons yari afitemo na basirikare and he also had uh, soldiers igi apfuye rero isaka yarabakomezanyije 
when he died, Isaac continued with the family. And they got to a point where they became like family. And even when Jacob lived, uh, the tribe was still in that in, in his presence. And even when they went, when Jacob went down to Egypt, he also traveled with them as they were part of their family. And they came to identify themselves as part of the tribe of Judah. So they they were like they were like grafted into that family, but they come from a tribe of the Kenesites from the time of Abraham. Yeah, okay. Nuko Kenesi, Nuko Kalebu. That's how I can. It's like if a, a child is adopted in your family and a few generations down the line, those people are going to be part of you. Uh, you uh, bear with me, I'm going to try to finish your question. Let's try to go fast. Yes, Ashimi Apostle, Ndabaza, Ndabaza ko imana yarangije kure, imana yarangije kure ma, ira ruhuka kumusi wakari inugi. Vija, vija vinchanga kabisa ko, vazi lirizaga isa wato kumusi wakata ndatu ugundi ngo kuchunge rungo, no musi wambele ui minsi inugi. Mwatugira, icho ni chwazo chambele, icha kabira waza, Mwatugira kuri, kuri, kuri Bensos Idaosa. Bensone? Bensone Idaosa. Icha gata tu, na wazaga ese kuwa kristo, kukuri chira umucho ukorwa mugusawa, aho babesha, ndafuga bja wigani ilo. Vili ya kuwa kristo, bja ese bimeze guti. Kusawa aho babesha. Iyo, iyo bari mwasawa umogeni. Okay, so my first question is about uh, when God worked for six days and rested on the seventh day. Uh, can you please explain to us uh, what that was about? The second question, can you please tell us about Benson in Dahosa? The third question, when people are asking for a bride and they exaggerate in their speeches, is that a sin? Okay, um... <clears throat> Umusi wakari indwini kuwa gata andatu. The seventh day is on Saturday. Ni umusi wakari indwini muzukuri. Kuchumweru ni kumusi wa amberi. The seventh day is Saturday and Sunday is the first day of the week. Sinzi chachaka kuwa zaholera. Yashaka kumbenya kwa ribzo. Yashaka kuwa zaniwa kuchumweru umusi wa amberi. Yego ni umusi wa amberi. Kuwa gata andatu ni wawaru umusi wakari indwini ni mwiremu. Uh, the Saturday was the seventh day in creation, and uh, the Monday is the first day of the week. Okay. Uh, Benson Idahosa is a pastor, a preacher from Nigeria who passed away. province Benin. He lives he lived in a state called Benin and he was serving in the city of Benin. And he went to school here in Dallas uh, in Christ for Nation. And he was born in 38. Ninety-eight, and he died in nineteen ninety-eight. Yerum Yerum preacher ukomeye Nigeria. Ninkawe wa data wa wa Nigeria. He was a great preacher in Nigeria, and he's the one who brought revival. He's called the father of the revival in Nigeria. Dero yakozi binubzinshi yarafite yarafite itorero 
So he had he did many great things. He had a church. The church of God. The church of God. And uh, the name of that church was the Church of God. Mission International. Church of God Mission International. And he challenged the witches. I'm going to give you two examples of Benson Idahosa. Among the things that he did. Benson Idahosa akijijwe yasomye ahantu bavuga ngo ngo Yesu azura bapfuye ngo zarambika ibiganza kubarwayi bakire agenda ashakisha bapfuye muri village ngo bazure Benson the host read in the bible that Jesus rose the dead and that uh, Christians can lay hands on the dead and they will resurrect yagiraga kwizera cyane so he had a lot of faith aragenda nakagarike and he went with his car ati mbambuye ko ari umuntu wapfuye ngomba kumuzura and he said, I've heard that someone died in this place. I must rest. He did so many things. But he also had the grace of God. He was bold. And he was very bold. And the person came up. And people were afraid. And he saw that he was working. And then he started to look for more places. He was not afraid. And uh, President Babangida. Yes. Another thing he did was under the presidency of Babangida. Have a conference of witches. And there was a conference of witches. Nigeria. And they had to meet uh, in Nigeria. He went on TV. And he said that this uh, conference of witches is not going to take place as long as I'm in this country. And the conference had been approved by the president. And they have started to advertise that conference uh, saying that the witches are going to come from all over the world to have their great conference in Nigeria. Uh, and the representatives of the witches say, uh, ask Idaosa to go and debate on TV. And they went on TV. Uh, someone had asked if uh, challenging the, the witches is right. So what Idahosa did, he said, he told the witch, I'm going to pray and you are going to die. You are going to die. And the witch got scared. And he said, please forgive me, don't kill me. And the president Babangi that was watching the news, and the president Babangi that was watching the news, and he wrote letters to his ambassadors to decline visas for the witches to come to Nigeria. Nigeria. And there's another story I received from a friend about Idahosa, but I did not verify it. There, there was a Muslim uh, a person who owned a factory of shoes. It was a company that made shoes or something of that nature. And he insulted Idahosa. Idahosa And Idahosa went on TV. And he said, Christians of Nigeria, you are all my children. Do not buy anything from that company. And that's the day, all the Christians in Nigeria, they stopped purchasing anything from that company. The person got bankrupt, and he came to ask for forgiveness. Those are the few things I can tell you about He died in 1998. His wife is Margaret Idahosa. And uh, he had four sons. And so he said, Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Uh, that culture uh, is a culture of 
lie, uh, but we must change it. When you are a Christian, you must ask for them not to use any lies. They don't have to stop the culture, but they must remove the lie. Uh, when, they, when we had my dowry, uh, the servants of God were involved. They are the ones who were making speeches. So there was no lie involved. You can also impose that because the wedding belongs to you. You look for uh, men who are saved and they do those speeches. But as servants of God, we are not allowed to lie in our, uh, in our ceremonies because it is a foundation of lie. Okay, Let's start to go. Uh, okay. Go, go quick, go quick. Uh, what's the number? 15. Okay, the next question is, my name is Blair Mutawaruka. I have a question that I have been meaning to ask you. When Jesus was alive, he told a lot of stories and parables. I like to listen to them a lot because they have a lot of wisdom. But I recently asked myself, where did he get these stories from? I have two theories to this question. When Jesus was in heaven, he listened and saw many things. So when he came to earth, he remembered everything. He saw and made them into stories so people could learn from them. The second theory is that he made up the story on the spot. If, I, if God created the universe and all in it in seven days, how easy would it be so f for, his sons, for his son to make up a story in a minute or less? I asked my mom, what she thought, and she said that Jesus has supernatural powers that no one else could find them. So she thinks that he knew everything that was happening on earth. He saw everyone and everything that happened. So he could have easily known these stories. She gave the example of Nathanael who prayed under the fig tree. And when he asked Jesus how he knows him, Jesus explained, I could see you under the fig tree because Philip before, found you. Before Philip found you. Before Philip found mm. you in John 1.48. She also thinks that he could have heard these stories from his relatives when he was young, and he remembered them. So like during the family holidays, when his entire family, uncles, aunties, cousins, came to visit and told stories, he could listen and got them from there. Anyway, she said, I could email you here to ask this question and see what you thought. Okay. Question, how did Jesus know all these stories that he told his followers? Kind regards. Okay. Urugero arabaza uyu mwana ngo simi ubwenge n'imigani Yesu yarafite yabikuye ese yabimenye yakiri mu ijuru cyangwa nuko yabanye yari kumwe n'abantu stories kamuzamo uwo mwanya reka ngusubize let me answer you reka tore muri John 2 Yohana kabiri let's read in John 2 kumurongo wa 25 uh, John 2 verse 25. Uh, 24, 25. 24 to 25. Mm. The Bible says, But Jesus did not commit himself to them because he knew all, all of them. All? all? He knew all men. All men. And had no need that anyone should testify of men. For he knew what was in men. Yarazi kirimu mundo. Donke icho aha Yesu Yesu ni rake ne ye Yesu yari imana. Jesus was God. Yarazi rero ibiri mumu. So he knew what was in men. Rero yavuga gabiri yabzi migani ariko azi chali mabiri mumu. He would talk about the parables, knowing what he was saying to that particular. Ikindi migani Yesu yatanga ka. Another thing is when you look at the parables, Jesus. Garu buzi mabano baba mumu. It had to do with the everyday life. Yesu yara azaba no yakuri muri kali chaya ba yuda. Jesus knew people because he grew up in the culture of the Jews. Age jimia kamera ngwita tu. When he got thirty, niyo yatangi yakuvuga ubutumwa. That's when he started to preach. Yero kuva kuri zero kugera kuri 30 yarazi imico ya bayuda yarazi tugani tuko mu makarite yarazi ki yabihuza nubwenge bw'Imana bikamubwira bikamuvira mu story abwira abantu. So from age 0 to 30 he knew the people he knew the culture and he would find those stories to tell people. Now we are many Nathanael. When he came to what he talked about Nathanael. That he was sitting under the fig tree. 
burya bwa ari ubumenyi bw'Imana no mwuka w'Imana wari umurimo kudiserna kudisaninga ikinda gakimenye that was the knowledge of God that was the spirit of God that caused him to discern and know something Yesu yari umuntu kana kabimana Jesus was man and he was God Ibyo abantu badashobora kubimenya we yarabimenyaga nkuko ari Imana What people could not know he could know it as God Ibyo abantu bashobora kumenya yabibwiwe na culture yavukiyemo What what people Umucho yabayemo What people could know he got it from people from other people in the culture he grew up in Okay Yes ashimwe papa ndashima cyane rwose uburyo tukwisanzuraho urumuvyeyi pe hari nk'ikibazo hari nk'ibazo bimwe bibazwa kandi nyiri bibazo yiyongereyeho yiyongereyeho nibisubizo nyamara ntibikurakaze cyangwa ngo ube bigutesheje umwanya ahubwo ukabusubizanya urukundo rwinshi imana yo mwijuru itibagirwa imirimo ije ihaza cyane kwifuza ku mutima wawe ikibazo afite ntuye muri muri new found land canada njya mbona iyo umuntu yitabye imana akenshi bahitamo gutwika umurambo aho kushyingura ese nkawe ufite ubumenyi bw'ijambo ry'imana na roho mutagatifu watubwiraho iki wabitubwira hiki murakoze ndabakunda cyane eh eh françoise ndagira ni françoise abajije françoise ikibaza abajije so she just asked uh, about burning gutwika abantu when you burn a, a, a body for someone who died you who knows the word of God and who has the spirit of God, what do you think about it? Is this something good or bad? It's it depends on the wish of the individual. If you say I want to be I want my body to be burned, it's okay and God has nothing there's nothing wrong with it. Because when they burn they take that uh, bakaribika muka yavu ya yeah, yeah. ashes ashes yeah? yes they take the ashes bakayishira muka box bakayishingura neza and they put it in a box and they bury you cyangwa iyo utagize icyo uvuga famiye ikaguhitiramo uko umurambo wawe bawugenza nawo nakibazo ntacyo bibiri bivugaho ariko ntakibazo gihari biterwa nuko abantu bemeranyije and if you have if you did not decide how to be buried your family can make the decision and it is okay it depends on how people decide oh ibibazo birarangiye bibiri bikurikiraho nabantu bifuza newsletter ikindi nande eh no witwa Felix na Yvonne bahe bahe nimero za za Fabie arazibohereza okay oh ibibazo birarangiye twajya mu byifuzo nimbe vuso byo gusengerwa Okay, murakoze cyane ko mwabanye naje ngiye gusengera ibyifuzo byanyu mwihangane. Thank you for being with me. I'm about to pray for your request. Uh, please uh, continue to be patient. Mura muraho aposo. Ndashima Imana cyane ku buryo mukora Ask Paul yadufasha cyane Imana ibahe umugisha. Fite ikibazo cy'amahane ndu muntu wa mahane n'inzigo zinshi iyo umuntu atanguye akakora ikibi kumubabarira birangora cyane mbere no kuvuga ko atari atari nibyo shoboye kini kirundi ya ukora gisoma nabi cyane mbere no kuvuga reka 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 abisomenye okay um ndu muntu wo mahane n'inzigo byinshi iyo umuntu antanguye aka akankora akankorera ikibi kumubarira birangora cyane mbere no vuga ko atani ibyo shobora nkihoreye nkunda kwihorera mpora afata iminsi nsenga nkabwira imana ko mpariye abangiriye nabi mbere mbere nka nkabasabira imigisha myinshi ariko hahera iminsi sinzi ibifata nkagaruka kandi kubidogera no kubwira imana ko bandenganije ahubwo bakwiriye ama conséquence mu buzima bwa kandi maze gutahura ko le fe fise iyo fise iyo nzika muri jewe that's why ni vyanje bidacamwe aho twagenda na twiganye imana yarabahezagiye ibaha ivyo jewe na isavye kuva kera ariko je jewe nitegereje nkibwira nkibwira si ari igihe canje kitarashi kacange ari ukudaharira biri muri jewe bituma ntarishugwa amasengesho yanje 
uko biri kose nta nta mahoro mfise ndashaka kubohoka nkamenya kubana nabandi neza ndabihanganira kandi ndabababarira akavuyo no mutima mubi biranduhije mwansengeye muzo mukoze ndabakunda mm okay ikindi yesa shimwe mushumba ndabashima cyane kubwitange n'ubufasha mudahwema kudufasha imana yo mwijuru ibahe imigisha cyane fite ibyifuzo bibiri icya mbere mfite mushuti wange tuvukana ararwaye afite ikintu kimugenda mu mubiri we atubwira ko ata ata aba yumva ari nk'inzoka neza neza inzoka yo mugasozi gihera mu mugongo kika mugenda mu mubiri wose akumva akumva rero araribwa cyane arababara yatangiye no kuribwa umugongo aho cyakiyoka kiba kiba mu mubiri we arababaye pe yitwa mutoni kibazo cya kabiri apostle ndasaba mu nsengere mbona akazi keza akazi keza umuryango wange urakenye cyane na nafuze nafuze nsanga iwacu turabakene n'uyu munsi ubukene ni bwinshi kutumvira kutumvikana kwa babyeyi kwa babyeyi banje usanga usanga mu rugo hari intambara ahanini rero ngewe mbona ziva ku bukene nkaba nsaba ko mu nsengera mpindure ayo mateka mabi murakoze imana ibahe mugisha turabakunda yitwa Robert kindi kifuzo fite umuvandimwe witwa Justine amaze amaze amezi arenga biri mu bitaro by'imasaka ararembye pe abakuri oxygene kugira ngo abashe guhumeka bamubwiye ko impsiko ze zidakora afite ikibazo cya diabete mu mwibuke mu masengesho kindi kifuzo sharam sharam aposo nabo nabo muri kumwe bose no kuri mana ida ida iba iba dukomereze mu mutubere umugisha aposo no kuri ndabasabye ngo mu mbere mu byeyi wo mu mwuka nara narigishijwe narigishijwe cyane ariko kubijyanye no mu byeyi wo mu mwuka hama nari narababaye cyane ukuntu atawo mfise kuko byangora kwizera umuntu kandi kuko ubwa mbere nagize 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 yabivu wa mbere nagize yabivuyemo nibyo gushumba abivamo arugara n'urusengero asubira mu byisi nibintu nibintu yobaje cyane hama abo twari kumwe twese turatatana nk'intama zitagira umwungeri mu nyuma ni nisanga naguye mu maboko y'umusataniste ibyo yankoreye ni byinshi ariko imana kugwa ubuntu bwayo igenda imbohora rero nasabaga mutangi mutansanze kutagira umubyeyi wo mu mwuka ibide ibirengana byose bikurwa ko rero bikurwa ko bikurwa ko bikurwa ko rero iyo utagira umubyeyi wo mu mwuka ibirengana byose bizo byose bimugwa rero mubyeyi ndabinginze mu munyemerere mu mbere kuvertire mu mwuka muzo bamukoze murakoze eh muraho apostle ndabashima cyane ku buryo mukora ask paul yadufasha cyane imana ibahe umugisha fite ikibazo ni wa wundi w'ikibazo cy'amahane okay ni ugarutse kabiri okay eh reka tubereke twereke imana ibibazo byose let's bring your problems to god ariko hari ikindi mwibagiwe umuntu wari wambuye ngo arashaka kuba nakubwiye ngo turamu barugiye gusoma cyari cyari iki cyari cyanyuzeta nacyo oh cyari cyanyuzeta okay sawa uraza kubahuza na Fabie aze kubaha sibyo okay ereka dusengere ibibazo bibiri iravuga ngo ni musenga mwizere ko muhawe let's pray for the uh, request the bible tells us to believe when we pray that we have received tugiye gusengera ibyifuzo byawe we are about to pray for your requests uwiteka mani komeye lord great god imana yimbaraga nubasha god of power and authority turasaba ngo ukore igitangaza mwa we ask you that you do a miracle kuri uyu mwene data wumva inzo kigenda genda mu ndaye no mugongo for this uh, brother a sister uyu mushiki wacu mutoni for this sister mutoni who uh, feels like there's a serpent in her body turakubita uwo muka we destroy that spirit iyo nzoka hwiva where the serpent comes from we tell it to return it 
Muraka kanya tu sense. In this moment we are praying. Mutoni na kila yamuzi. Let Mutoni be healed. Tura kubi tumuka ukene kwa barobe. We destroy the spirit of poverty in Robert's family. Tura sengi karande. We destroy this curse. Mizi na gaya. In the name of Jesus. Mizi na gaya. In the name of Jesus. Amate kana hinduke. Let the story or the history change. Kuzi mabga. In their lives, no kuzi mabga robe. And in the life of robe, nizi na gaya's. In the name of Jesus. Uyumene da turi kuri oksijene imasaka. This person who is under oxygen in Masaka. Urgwa ye diabete. Who is stricken by diabetes. Kugezegihe imiti ya diabete affects him chikose. To the point where the medicine is affecting his liver. Imtiko zikagiri vivaso. And his kidney have a issue. Nizi na gayesu. In the name of Jesus. Draku itu omuka. We destroy that spirit. Urgorufu. That death. Let the kidneys return. Let the kidneys return. Let the kidneys return. Let the kidneys return. In the name of Jesus. Do a miracle, Father. Do a miracle, Father. Manifest yourself, Lord. We ask you, Jesus, that you heal that person. The person who is asking for a spiritual father, who has been uh, abused by the Satan, who faced great challenges. We thank you that you protected her. Continue to strengthen her heart and continue to cover in the name of Jesus. Cover that person because you are God. Cover that person because you are God. Our sister who has anger, who fights and who has anger, and it causes her dose to be broken. We pray that you heal that wound of the heart. That prevent her from forgetting and forgiving. In the name of Jesus, change her heart. Give them a new heart. Lord Jesus, let that person be open. Let her forgive people. And we believe that we are going to receive a testimony. And all the people who have issues, who have not been able to write, who are being oppressed and who are difficult, we ask that your fire may come down. Let your Holy Spirit come down. Let your anointing fall. And let it break all the yokes that are binding us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do your miracles, Father. Manifest yourself to your children and set them free and heal them. Let the honor be yours today and forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Have a wonderful night. Mugire inzo zinziza. Have wonderful dreams. I love you. Bye bye. Bye.